The new PoE League 3.25 Settlers of Kalgor is five days away, and it's around this time, just before a new league start, that I am going crazy trying to figure out what's going to be my league starter. Now, I'm relatively new to PoE, so I will always follow a build when it comes to Path of Exile. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my three builds that I will be testing in the next five days. By the way, come and check out me prepping and testing League Starters on Twitch. My channel name is Sammy Caps. We'd love to have you come over. Give me your input. I'd love to hear it. Anyway, I'm going to spend the next five days prepping for 3.25 and trying to figure out what is going to be my League Starter. Now, I want to put a huge asterisk on this video. This is not a build guide. This is not me telling you these are the builds you should play. I don't have that knowledge. I won't have that knowledge. And I don't build guides, nor do I have the background and the knowledge in Path of Exile to be able to create a build from scratch. I only started playing Path of Exile from the Crucible League. So I would consider myself a average Path of Exile player and average in knowledge as well. So please, this is not a build guide, nor am I suggesting these builds. These are builds that I personally saw and like, hmm, I want to try these. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just sharing with you my journey. Now, you may be asking, who the hell cares? Well, if you are part of my community, then you may know the answer to that. I have gotten a lot of comments lately about people that typically have never played Path of Exile. And because of my content and them listening to me talk about Path of Exile, they are actually going to dip their toes in the water in 3.25 for the very first time, which is exciting. I love, love hearing people trying new games. So I wanted to create this video because number one, I know they're going to be watching it. And number two, any little bit information when it comes to Path of Exile is always a benefit to that person because there's just so much that you need to know. Now, if you are not playing Path of Exile and you are not playing it because of probably the number one reason what keeps everyone away from this game, and that is, oh my God, the learning curve, it's too massive. There's so much to learn. I don't have the time to dedicate to the game. BS, I'm calling BS. Why am I calling BS? Because I called BS on myself way back when, when the Crucible League started, and I was having the same doubts. Nah, I'm not going to play it. I don't have the time. I don't have this. I don't have that. Yeah, all those excuses everyone else has. But you know what? I said, screw it. I'm going to do it. What's the worst that's going to happen? I'm going to go play it. I'm not going to like it. Or I'm going to play it. And when I don't have time or I get bored of it, I'll stop. And... I started the Crucible League, I played a lot of it, and I pl I've i played every single league since then, except for one, just because of timing on my schedule. So my point is, don't let all the naysayers tell you, or what you've heard, this game, the it's true, it's all true, but they're not insurmountable. And you can just take out of the game what you want. So maybe you your goal is not to clear tier 17 maps. Maybe your goal is not to master crafting. Take out of the game what you can. It's a beautiful game and you'll enjoy playing it. Enough said. Okay, now before we get into my potential league starters that I'm going to be testing throughout the next five days leading up to 3.25 releasing, a lot of you continue to watch my content, but yet do not subscribe. If you can find it in your heart to hit that subscription button, it would mean the world to me and it would be a commitment and support to my content. And I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, let's get into the builds that I'm looking at and we'll be testing live on Twitch for 3.25. Here we go. Okay, first up, I have to do it. I'm not a melee build guy. I do not like melee builds. 
but 3.25 melees are getting a huge, huge, huge buff. So I'm going to be trying this build. By the way, all three builds that I will be trying, I will be linking the video from the content creators that made the builds. And in the case of the Bone Shattered Juggernaut, Jorgen, seen behind me here, he's demonstrating the Bone Shattered Juggernaut right now on this video. And there's going to be all these videos that I'm going to be playing and demonstrating and showing to you are going to be all linked in the description. And by the way, these content creators that are going to be on this video spend a lot of time, a lot of resources and to create these videos. So if you could please, if you're going to go and watch their videos, please at least like the video. And if you can hit the subscription button and support these content creators, it takes a lot of work to produce not only these builds, but then they actually have to make a video. And as someone who does the same, okay, I don't make build guides, but of course I make videos. It's a lot of work, a lot of work. So please support them. Like I said, I'm not a huge melee guy. Actually, I don't like melee builds, I gotta say, but I cannot overlook the huge buffs that 3.25 is gonna bring this leak in five days. So I am going to test this build. Actually, it's the first build I'm gonna test during my five day prepping uh, prior to the leak starting in five days. So I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna give it a playthrough. I'm gonna see how, how it ramps up, how it feels during the leveling process and going through uh, the campaign. So I'm gonna give this one. Now, I gotta say, it does look pretty neat and of course, George Jorgen knows what he's doing, uh, but he's got a full POB. He's got everything there, so we're going to follow it. And this is going to be the first build that I try. I'm going to give it the old college try. Again, I'm not a melee build. I'm not expecting to like this, but who knows? Maybe I'm surprised. I'll be surprised. And you can't go wrong with the Juggernaut and with the buffs that are coming in 3.25. So I can't overlook it. I'm going to give it a try. Thank you, Jorgen. The next build that I'm going to try is from Waffles Loves ARPGs. It's a crit mirror armor bombarding clone necro. Now I'm very familiar with the witch, but I am not familiar with the necromancer uh, ascendancy. But when I saw this, this play style really resonates with me. It looks like a lot of fun. Apparently it's supposed to do a lot of damage. Um, so I'm really excited to give this play style uh, a playthrough and it looks really good. And thank you, Waffles Loves ARPGs. Again, purely pick this out of the hat just because like I said, when I saw this video from Waffles Loves ARPGs, it looks like it's a style of play that I would like. And uh, leveling up the witch with rolling magma and totem, like it's just very quick, easy leveling process. So this is one that I'm considering purely on the fact that I've I've leveled a lot of wit and it's an easy leveling process. And this looks like a play style that's a lot of fun. So I will be testing this as well during my five day prep. Thank you, Waffles Loves ARPGs. And finally, my third build slash potential leak starter is Peripherate Duelist Slayer from Tuda. Sorry if I butchered your name. Thank you for the build. I saw this video and again, something that really is kind of in my wheelhouse, but not. And if you're kind of catching a theme here, I'm trying to go out of the comfort, my comfort zone for 3.25. I always go detonating dead and witch and yada, yada, yada. So as you should know, or if you don't know, apparently detonating dead just got nerfed to the ground and I'm kind of happy. Sorry, detonating dead lovers i'm kind of happy because now it's forcing me to go out of my comfort zone and try something different so i saw this video from tuda and wow uh it looks really good it looks like it does a lot of damage it's got everything you need to do to complete the game so that's appealing to me and again to me every leak starter and i mean sorry when when a new leak starts and i'm looking around looking for what kind of builds i'm always looking for builds that kind of suit my play style and this one Although it's not 100% up my alley, it is very close to it and it looks like a lot of fun. So I'm going to give this one a try. And thank you, Tuda, 
for the build. Okay, so those are the three builds that I will be testing and trying out for the new Settlers of Kalgor League 3.25. Now, if you guys want to give me some uh, suggestions on other builds to try, get in the comments section and let me know. I'd love to hear it. I'm taking the next five days to try all these builds out and see which one resonates with me because I want to hit the ground running. This looks like a very fun league. They've added a lot of content. I said that in my other video on the reveal. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun. So I want to have a good league starter. So let me know what you think. And by the way, if you're new to PoE, come to my live stream every evening. We're on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. Come over. We got a lot of people that have a lot of experience in Path of Exile. I'm, I'm in the middle. Um, we'd love to help you out if you're looking for it. And just come by if you need anything. Like There is a lot of tools and stuff that will help you navigate through your early journey through Path of Exile. So come on over and or get in the comment section and I'm sure someone will help you out if you have any questions. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'm super excited to test these three potential Sammy Cap League starters. I'm so pumped. Anyway, come over to the live stream and check me out. We'll be on tonight, starting with the Bone Shattered Juggernaut. Am I going to like a melee build or not? Come over. Would love to have you. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.